push record. Hello, hello, beautiful, busy business bitches. Hello, welcome to the masterclass on creating a three hour workday. And I'm so excited um, to teach you all these things that you can use to help um, streamline your, your programs, your business, so that you can go from burnout to blazing. Burnout to blazing. Just came up with that this morning. Anyways, and anyway, so um, that's what I'm gonna teach you about today. Um, lots to cover today. So what I would like to, I'm only gonna keep you on here for 30 minutes. So um, maybe less, maybe more, we'll see how it goes. Um, but here's the plan for today. I want you to be able to walk away with all the tools that you need to create a three hour workday. Okay, so I want you, I wanna teach you what to do so you don't spend hours a day on social media trying to find clients. I'm gonna teach you what you need to do so you don't spend hours a day on your computer. And I wanna help you be able to close sales with ease. I wanna make it easy to get sales for you, right? And the biggest thing is that it's maximizing your time. So, and I just wanna say, like if you stay till the end, you can find a way to save $500, $500, sweet deal. All right, who am I? Some of you may know me, some of you may not me, know me. And um, my name is Chas, my name is Chas Young. My name, my middle name is Dawn, because I was born at Dawn. Anyways, <laughs> I am also December 22nd, so I'm a Capricorn baby. And I am living in Calgary, Alberta, which is on the western side of Canada, if you don't know. And um, uh, yeah, I'm married. I got two kids, Gabby and Carter. Um, Gabby's 15, Carter is 14 at the time of this today. And, um, and I've been married for 15 years as well. And really, my family is why I do business which is why I'm self-employed, which is why I have the three hour workday because I believe like I chose to be a mom like 15 years ago. That was the decision that I wanted for my life. And um, I want to use business as a tool to create that life for my kids, not like the other way around where it's like I have to sacrifice my family in order to have a business. I don't want to do that. So um, I'll get more into that story in a minute. Um, but yeah, so really my why is to be able to spend time with my family and to be happy. Like happy, happy, happy. <laughs> I'll tell you about times where I was not happy and I was burnt out and um, life was not good, you know? And I'll tell you about that in a second. My other main why that I've always had is that I want to help moms create a life for themselves that they love. And so a long time ago, it was like, oh, I want to help people, moms around the world, be able to read to their kids. You know, like that to me is super important to be able to read to your kids or to be able to have the choice to spend the evening with the kids or spend the day with your kids and to have choices and so that's always been like the essence of everything that I do is to um, allow for um, um, moms to to have choices in their life and so um, then it was like education now I'm teaching moms how to create businesses so that they can create lives that so that they can be happy and give themselves choices all right so um, yeah, so I have three T's in my life. One is to live in a tiny house on a beach. Um, that is a big goal of mine is to live in a tiny house on a beach, not on a big mansion on a beach, tiny house on a beach. And I have a super cute picture that I can't show you right now, but it's awesome. Um, my second T is to travel. Like I've been born with this desire to travel, like anyone else out there who like, just wants to travel and now we're in COVID and like our traveling is considered going to the grocery store. <laughs> Ooh, it's a big day today. I get to go to the grocery store. Yay, we're going traveling. <laughs> and my third T is tasty food. I love to travel because I like to try new foods and like all these different 
ethnicities around the world that have freaking amazing food. And let's just, you know, a little chocolate here or there is never going to kill anyone. No. So anyways, so that's what motivates me to create a thriving business is so that I can live in a tiny house, I can travel and I can have tasty food. Not my kind of cooking food, but tasty food. <laughs> and I do this by taking moms from like super frazzled, super frustrated, overwhelmed. Um, you know, I got a picture of like a mom with the mom bun on with like five coffees and like wearing clothes from four days ago um, and feeling like really out of control to helping moms feeling in control. I want you to feel like you're in control of your family. I want you to feel like you're in control of yourself. And I want you to feel like you're in control of your life and your business. And um, so that is my why. That is what I do. And so I call myself a business productivity coach. Um, I used to be just a business coach because I've been teaching that for the last four years. Um, actually, almost five years now. I've been teaching people how to start businesses. I did it as a day job. And then I got laid off last summer. Yay! So now I do it on my own. So yes, I have also experienced job layoff. And it was my dream job, but now it's no more. So I'm going to talk about that in a second as I talk about burnout. Yay. But I have a question for you. Which one of these resonates with you or which one of these do you identify with? Okay, one, you might be feeling frustrated that you're working all the time yet not getting the sales you want or any sales for that matter. Is that you? Two, you might be feeling frustrated that you're really just working all the time and yeah you're getting a little bit of sales but like it's not they're not paying you what you feel like you deserve and yet you're sacrificing your family and your sanity really to get those little bit of sales or are you number three where you are just really shy about putting yourself out there um and yet somehow you're still getting some current clients like you still have some clients but they're not paying you what you would like and it's not creating the lifestyle that you want. Which one of those resonates with you? All right. So the solution to this, my friends is one, figure out how to work less by streamlining some things, including your sales process. Okay. Automate and delegate. Ooh, those things that us moms are so not good at. Automating and delegating. You mean my kids got to do the dishes? Oh my goodness. Oh. Um, <laughs> so automate and delegate some of your tasks so you can focus more on doing what you love, which is serving your clients, right? And then increase the value you give to them and increase your prices, babe. Build your confidence and strategies to show up online in a way that feels consistent and feels good to you. And so that is like the essence of what I do and what I teach. But I find that the real problem is that like you're burning out, right? You're trying to do all the things. Like you go to this class, you take this master class, you take that master class, you take this five day challenge, you take that five day challenge, you do this online course, you do that online course, and you're just doing all the things that all these people tell you to do, which is great. The information is great. Um, but it's just adding more to your head. It's adding more to your frustration and not knowing what's happening and what you need to do that's going to work for you. And so you're feeling all the frustration and then you're working all the hours. Like, for some reason you believe that working more is going to give you more money. You know, so if I just keep working, if I could just keep working, you know, I'm going to get that client. I'm going to get that client. And, but you know what, babe, if that was the truth, is that like all the filthy rich millionaires and billionaires who are living their life, traveling on yachts and owning their own islands right now, they would actually be working all the time. Right. But they're not. So working all the time does not equate with having more money. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. 
and you're also burning out by you're doing all these things, but you're not getting the sales, right? Like, ah, why won't people just buy from me? Why? But most of all, you're burning out because you're wishing that you could have more sales and have a more productive business. But at the same time, um, you really want to be a good mom for your kids. Like maybe now you have to homeschool or maybe your kids aren't even in school age yet, but so you need to entertain them. And like, you want to spend time with them and you want to be a good mom, but you're just feeling it's like, you just can't do all the things, right? Anybody else feeling that? Or is it like just me? <laughs> so this is why I have come up with the three hour work day. Three hours, baby, three hours. And I realized that there is all the sun in this. And you know what? I don't care because it's sunny out and I'm going to enjoy that it's sunny out. <laughs> okay. So just bear with me. All right. So here's my story. Let me know if you resonate with this at all. Is that, um, okay. So I had my kids 15 years ago and um, I became a personal trainer. I had had a business before that, like in Regina, um, and then I moved because I wanted to go into med school because um, I thought that will solve all my purpose-driven problems that I have. And um, anyway, so I became a personal trainer because that works really well with being a, a mom. Like I can train people in the park with my kids. They can bring their kids. Everybody's got kids, and, um, and then we can get super fit. And, um, and then I started working out at, um, or working at a gym and, um, I was teaching all the classes, training all the clients and I really did like it. And, but I remember I posted one day, um, that I was just like burning out and I really needed a break. And I'm not kidding. Three days later, I busted my leg, like broke it bad in like 40 different spots. Like I got all the screws, I got all the hardware on my legs, um, and because I didn't listen to my body that I needed a break, I was like pushing, pushing, pushing. I have to do this. I, it's my job and I like doing it. And, um, but my body's saying no, you know? So I wasn't listening, wasn't listening to the body. So the body's like, we're going to break you. Like literally break you. <laughs> and, um, and so that was my first lesson in like kind of burning out. Is that like my body had to like physically break to stop me. So like all good entrepreneur out there, I sat on the couch for six months. And so I decided to write a business plan and start a spin studio. So it wasn't just your normal spin studio. It was one of the first ones in Calgary and it was spin TRX and boot camp, And it was awesome. I love my community. I still do. I'm still friends with half my members and um, I loved it. I love teaching. I love the members. I love my staff. Um, but I felt like I was, when I was at work, I wanted to be with my family. Like, cause my kids were like two, three, maybe three and four, um, up until grade one and, um, grade one and grade two. And so I really felt like I was missing out on them because I was doing what I loved. And so it felt selfish. I felt like you know, it just didn't feel right. And, um, and then when I was with my kids, like, even though it took me like two years before I finally took a vacation, um, I was always thinking about work, you know, even when I wasn't at work, if I had to pick the kids up from preschool and went home and was making lunch, I was like on my phone, on my computer and really not being present where I should have been. And I wish my coach back then would have said, Hey, Focus on one thing. When you're at work, focus at work. Don't think about your family. When you're at home, focus on your family. Don't think about work at all, you know, and taught me. I wish my coach would have taught me how to do that. And so I had to learn the hard way. And that's why I'm teaching you so that you don't have to sell your dream business and burn out because it's not fun burning out, my friends. So I sold the gym, which is fantastic. And then I, um, I went back to school. And for international development, because again, helping women is like really where my heart lies, right? And, um, and so um, I got my dream job at a nonprofit here in Calgary, and I was teaching women and new immigrants to Canada how to start businesses so that they can take financial control of their life. And I love that job, loved it. 
um, the longer I worked there, the longer I really worked there. So answering emails like before I went to bed, answering emails after I left the office, even though the office closed at 4.30, um, twice a week I had to work till nine. And so again, like really wishing I was with my kids, really wishing I was with my family and just not. And um, so burning out at work, like even though I love my job, um i was like it was really busy because i didn't have to pick up kids after school drop them off go back to work or sit on my phone like it was not the life that i wanted to live and i really felt like my soul was disappearing so when i got laid off last summer it took me like two bottles of wine and 24 hours to realize that this is the door closing so that a better door can open and that better door is this coaching business and <laughs> and so I was like okay I am going to create a business take ownership and create something that I love that works for me that's going to make me happy okay and that is where like it dawned on me this summer it's like oh it's a three-hour work day it's like Timothy Ferris's four-hour work week no that's just a dream world but the three-hour work day that's a reality and so that's where we are today, coming up with the three hour work day. Okay, so what do you need to do? What do you need to do to create your own three hour work day so that you do not burn out, so that you can get clients, so that you can be an awesome mom? Like that's what I want you to do. I want you to get clients, I want you to be happy in your business, and I want you to be an awesome mom. And like, even if you don't have kids, like just be awesome at who you are. Be an awesome freaking human, right? And like, just be present and like, love who you are. And I want you to do that. And I believe you deserve that. So number one thing is that if you want to work a three hour workday and work less and make more, right? That's a legit hashtag, work less and make more. Um, you need to get rid of this notion that you need to be busy. Um, us women, like I grew up like and my mom's still a busybody all the time. Her mom was a busybody all the time. Um, we need to get rid of this notion that we need to be busy. Our self-worth is not dependent on the things that we do. Our self-worth is dependent on the people that we touch. And I want you to learn that and believe that. So I'll say it again. Our self-worth, your self-worth, my self-worth is not determined by what we do, but more so on the lives that we touch. That could be friends, that could be family, that could be whoever, clients, right? And so focusing on the people and not the things to do. So I'm gonna teach you what you need to do to get rid of all those things that you think you need to do and just relax and be not busy, okay? So I want you to sit back a little bit, turn off your phone, Grab a piece of paper um, if you want, and let's head into the three hour workday method, my babes. Three hour workday method. Number one, you need to show up. So, what I mean by that is that nobody can buy from you if they don't know who you are. They need to see your beautiful face, they need to see you. You need to show up in your business for others to know, like, and trust you. That's the essence of marketing. People will not buy from you unless they know, like, and trust you, right? And so you have to get comfortable putting yourself out there. And so I want to teach you how to spend one hour a day on social media so you show up and get clients and you can do this at any time. So I like to call it the 20-20-20 rule. Okay, write this down, 20-20-20. Um, I usually only teach this to my clients, so you are lucky today, my friends. 20-20-20, 20 minutes you wanna follow and connect with people. That's all you need to do, so just focus on the one thing, connect, follow, connect, follow, right? You can do that on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever, just focus on the connecting. Later on in the day, you can focus another 20 minutes on sending messages to those people. 
And like, if when you're a client of mine, I have a script that you would use to do that um, connecting, but really you want to spend 20 minutes in building relationships. Um, you can do that at lunch. I like to do it right after I'm done eating. Um, or you can do it like while your kids are eating, whichever. And so 20 minutes there and then another 20 minutes in the evening. I like to do it while I'm watching TV, just building relationships. So that's how you can spend one hour a day um, on social media and get clients, right? So what you need to do then is quit the scroll. That's not work, honey. It's not work. And um, yeah, it's not work scrolling. And um, so if you want to be less busy, don't think that that's work. Think that that's like just you time, right? There's nothing wrong with scrolling. Um, <laughs> and, um, but don't consider it work. All right. And um, also protect your energy too. Um, like my Facebook is a toxic minefield of political BS right now. And um, so I spend very little time on it. I prefer to spend more time on Instagram because I'm surrounded by like other coaches and VAs and other moms who are super optimistic. So it makes me so happy to be on Instagram. So if I'm going to scroll, it's going to scroll on Instagram, not on the Facebook. Okay. Because you want to make sure that your energy is in a place that it attracts people to you. Okay. Um, like if you're a Debbie Downer, or a negative Nancy, like who wants to work with that? I don't, right? Like my clients always say that they were attracted to my energy, right? And this is authentic energy. I will give you like some days are bad days, some days are great days, right? But showing up is the first thing that you need to do, okay? One hour a day showing up. Second hour a day is all the admin stuff that you need to do, but it's all about being intentional and focused. Okay. So when you're working on your automating and your delegating and all your back end systems of your business, set the timer for one hour, one hour. Okay. This is where you can automate some funnels. Um, I currently use Kartra and I love it. Um, so automate some things, then make a list of the things that you do not have to do. What are the things that you don't have to do? Not the things that you have to do, not the to-do list. It's the to-do not, the not to-do list. So what's the not to-do list of the things that <laughs> you can then automate or delegate or just leave it? Nobody's dying if like the email doesn't get written today, right? No, no, don't think that it is. Okay, so if it has to wait till tomorrow, let it wait till tomorrow. Be gracious on yourself, okay? And then find a friend called the VA, virtual assistant, that you can then like share those tasks with. Be like, I trust you, Anna, that you can do this, right? And then delegate release. So yeah, focus one hour a day on like the admin tasks that you need to do. Everything else, either delegate, cut it off, or automate. Okay. Um, I like to have like themes for the day. So let's say for example, financial Fridays are a great day where you can do your bookkeeping. So all you're doing is bookkeeping then. Okay. Thursdays are the days that I like to like schedule my posts for the next week. I don't have a fancy name for that. Get shit done Thursdays. <laughs> and so like kind of come up with themes for the day for your admin stuff. Okay. Be focused, be very intentional. That is like the essence core of my message. Okay, number three to a three hour workday, your third hour is sales. So I wanna help you craft like a marketing funnel that helps people know, like, and trust you and um, design that funnel and the activities that you do on each step of the funnel so that you're very intentional about what you do, when you do it, and for who you do it for. And, um, yeah, so again, set that, that timer for an hour. And so maybe today that's a sales call. Maybe tomorrow that is, um, you know, writing a sales script or maybe, um, tomorrow that is more building relationships with, with your client or with potential clients. Um, so yeah. So think of ways of your sales process and how you're going to get people from knowing who you are to buying from you. Okay. So spending an hour a day 
doing that. And let me tell you, it works. So I have a calendar that's like schedules that all out. If you want that calendar, just send me a quick DM and I'll send that to you um, because it gives you like a good view of what I do over the course of the day so that I'm working three hours a day. And so I have more time to go kayaking, to have a nap, to do whatever I want during the day because I'm so lucky because my kids are in school. So um, I don't have to worry about them till like 3.30. It's fantastic. I love having older kids. <laughs> Anyways, so any questions so far? If you do, please put them in the DMs or in the comments and I will answer them as soon as they come in. Anyways, so how do we make this work for you? Um, you need to do what works for you, okay? knowing that you want to work less and make more and stay sane and have more fun like that's your driver right so what do you need to do to make that happen luckily i want to introduce to you my new eight week fast start program yay eight weeks so it is designed to help you do those three things and to find the things that work for you that are going to maximize your results, um, minimize your stress, and just make your work really efficient and productive. And um, it goes so much deeper into all this, right? But um, so, but you have to find what works for you, and what works for you might not work for me, might not work for you know the next person, right? So you got to find out what works right for you. So. My client Tara, I have to tell you this story, is that she came to me, she's got two young boys, um, her husband has a company, and um, she does some work for that, she does some work during the day, um, she's also taking a class, like just doing all these things, and but really passionate about food and nutrition. And so, but she was just like, my boys are tired of me being on my phone all the time, and uh, they're like, mom, get off your phone, mom, get off your phone, you know? And she's like, it ate up my heart to not be there for them and to be distracted, you know? So I'm like, okay, well, what needs to change? And so turns out if she could get somebody to do all her social media, that would like free up her phone, <laughs> right? So she wouldn't need to be on her phone all the time. So she hired a social media manager or a VA, I can't remember which one it was, um, but had specific tasks for her to do. And in doing that, she saved herself so many hours a day um, in being on her phone and being on Instagram and being on all the things. And, but what like that freeing of that time allowed her to like totally reinvent her whole business. So now she's like, not just doing nutrition coaching, but she's got like other products for surfers out there. Like this chick is like awesome. And it probably wouldn't have been able to happen if she was in the, the stressed, frustrated, I'm on my phone and computer all the time and working all the time mentality. But being able to delegate out um, allowed her to really expand her mind and like free up so much. Now she's like legit on fire. Like that girl is like so awesome. So. I was so blessed to be able to work with her and I'm very thankful that I got to work with her because she's a gem, a gem. Anyways, okay, so the eight week program, here's what's gonna happen throughout those eight weeks. Week one, we're gonna talk about like, who are you showing up as, okay? Who are you showing up as? Number two, who is your ideal client? Um, or who really cares, you know? Um, three, streamlining your schedule, making the schedule, like just making the damn schedule, you know? Um, week four is selling your irresistible offer. Therefore, you need to create your irresistible offer, right? Week five is designing and streamlining your funnel. I love that stuff. It's so fun. Um, number six is streamlining your operations and your back end. So what can you automate? What can you delegate, right? And week seven, we're going to talk about manifesting, like manifesting in a Christian sense, manifesting in a non-Christian sense, like it all works. It all works. And it all starts with here and what you believe about yourself and the potential for your business. And then in week eight, we're going to launch your, we're going to launch a new program for you and it's going to sell out like bam. And so I'm so excited about that. 
And so what you're going to get from that, you're going to get like um, group coaching. Um, you're going to get two group coaching sessions a week, one on Monday, one on Tuesday that you can join in. And then you can also work with other people in the group. And I love putting people together to collaborate. Like I got two ladies, I think three ladies that are collaborating right now and possibly doing like an energy summit. Um, like how amazing would that be? Right. So you get to meet other people, work together with them. I'm still friends with people that are in, that were in my mastermind at the beginning of 2020. Um, so group coaching twice a week, then I'm going to give you two one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions because, um, all the people that I've been talking to, they're like, I like the group and I like meeting other people, but I really want to have some one-on-one -on -one time with a coach so that I can get my questions answered and make it more towards me. And so I love one-on-one -on -one and I can do that all the time. <laughs> and um, so that's where like, I feel like the real value lies in is in those one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. And then you get boxer and like, honey, I am like the queen of boxer. So if you don't box me every day and be like, this is what I'm working on today, I will box you. Okay. I want you to reach your goals. And so I always say like, if you don't know what boxing is, it's like having a business mom in your back pocket. So it's like, Ooh, I have a question. Let's text chat. Okay. Cool. Sweet. Love that stuff. All right. So how much does this program cost? So you can three ways to pay. There is a uptime one time fee, which is 1997, or you can pay over six months, which is 397, or you can pay in three months, which is what did I say? Six months is 397. Three months is 697. Ooh, say that five times over. Woo think that through. <laughs> and so three different options to make it most affordable for you so that you can take action to make, get clients now, take the insanity, take the stress. You're just done with that stuff. So just stop it. Okay. But for you being on here today, I want to invite you to a call and I want to give you $500 off. So it'll be $14.97 from now, which is Tuesday, October 20th at 10.30 till Wednesday, October 21st at 10.30. Um, I'll give you $500 off. And instead of like only two one-on-one -on -one coaching calls, I'm going to give you weekly one-on-one -on -one coaching calls because I love it. I feel like just being you're so much more connected to your coach when you can talk to them every week instead of every other week. And so I want to do that. That's like a value of like $1,700 and it's just for you for being here today. So I want to thank you so much for that. And so I want you to book a call um, with me in the next couple hours and we will make that happen. All right. So send me a DM, leave a message here and um, I will send you the link to book a call and we'll get that done because I want you to go from burning out to blazing, like on fire, lit. <laughs> loving your business, loving your kids, loving yourself. And so I am very excited. Um, yeah, you like the not to do list. Hey, I love the not to do list. Maybe I even got that from you. I don't know. Anyways. So yeah, if you're interested, um, please send me a DM and we can chat. And I'm very excited about welcoming people into this program because I believe with all my heart that it'll change your life because it changed mine, right? I'm no longer being like, I need to work. I need to work. I need to work. It's like, no, I can go kayaking on a Wednesday afternoon if I freaking want to. I can like spend the whole evening playing card games with my kids if I want to. And, um, you know, I love having that freedom, that flexibility, and that control. And you can have that too. And I want to teach you that. So peace out, babes. Hope you have a fantastic day. Like fantastic. And um, can't wait to hear from you in the DMs. And let's make this magic happen. Alrighty. Catch you later. Bye.